In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Good people, Thursday the 26th is, and I thank God for this. We continue with what we picked yesterday, and we are looking at the benefit of praying the Holy Rosary. Somebody told me that, Father, I have experienced what you said. It is true, dear good people. My parting shot yesterday was eh, that when you find yourself in total darkness, surrounded by so many confusing options, just pray the luminous mysteries. And I said, with singular intention, ask God, please light my path. He will light your path. It will be lit and you'll be able to see. And as I told you, what I tell you in spiritual development, I speak from experience. The rosary brings you more life satisfaction, more life satisfaction. I encourage especially couples who intend, who intend to keep their marriage to always find time to pray together. It gives you a lot of life satisfaction, a lot of it. Sometimes I know that because of no more disagreement and discord, you may find that you are not able to pray together. Even when you are not able to face-to-face -face pray together, always make sure that you have done part of your deal. As you pray, pray for whatever it is that you started, that the journey may be completed. Number five, praying the Holy Rosary keeps you in tune with the scriptures. There's something I, we know that is called scriptural rosary. Like the Mother of Mercy, scriptural rosary, booklet. If you, if, you have, if you get this booklet, it is called the Mother of Mercy Scriptural Rosary Booklet. It is written by Vinne Flain. Vinne Flain. Vinne Flain. V-I-N-N-Y F-L-Y-N-N Vinne Flain. If you get it, the better. There is also the uh, scriptural rosary book for children. You can get that. And you see the scriptural passages. In fact, men and the women who have grown praying the rosary are more biblically, uh, how do I put it, are more biblically advantaged than those who don't. And especially those who have learned over the years to do the scriptural rosary. Please try that also, and you will tell me. The other one, the rosary keeps you headed towards the priory gates. The priory gates, that is the gate of heaven. It keeps you on the path to salvation. It directs your focus. It keeps you focused on the beatific vision. Every day of the prayer of the rosary is a day that makes it clear. It makes it clear the priory gates. Think, think of uh, maybe a building that is very far. Let us say, depending on how strong your eyes are, let us say that there is a building that is 10 kilometers away. 
and you are walking towards that building. Walking, not even driving. The more you walk towards the building, the more the building's texture becomes clearer. Up until when you behold the, the whole vision when you are just there. Then you know, oh, this is what I was seeing when I was very far. I thought it is a widow pane. So it is this. And this one, I thought it is this. So it is this. Everything is now very clear. That is exactly what the rosary does. The more we pray the Holy Rosary, the more the paragate becomes clearer and clearer and clearer because our journey is well lit towards the eternal happiness. Now, this is important. Number seven is important for men and women looking for partners. The Holy Rosary helps you to find the love of your life. Now, those of you who are Catholics, or you may not even be Catholics, but you believe in the Holy Rosary. If you believe in the Holy Rosary, and you're in the journey of looking for the love of your life, dedicate that search on the Holy Rosary. Our mother will never leave you on your own. I can tell you, make it your habit and see. Every time you, do the, you pray the, the Holy Rosary, you are telling him, my father, through Mother Mary, that I want to get a man who is pleasing to you. You will not pray like heathens do, that I'm looking for the Mr. Right. I'm looking for Mr. Right. These are prayers of heathens. Believers, Pray for someone who pleases God. A wife who pleases you. This is contra, in contradistinction with the, the prayers of the heathens. And I think I wrote the other day that uh, there is nobody called Mr. Right. Mr. Right are creations of men and women who do not believe in God. Those who believe in God... You don't ask for a husband who pleases your heart. You ask for a husband who is in the mind of God. Dear young ladies, if you are searching for a husband and you believe in the power of the Holy Rosary, engage Mother Mary on this. You will never be disappointed. Dear young men, if you are looking for a wife and you believe in the power of the Holy Rosary, Engage our mother on this. You will never ever be disappointed. And I love that. Number eight, it is for all parents. The Holy Rosary aids you in discerning for your children. And especially when, especially when your sons and daughters are becoming difficult when your sons and daughters are turning south, when your sons and daughters are becoming prodigal gradually, the best way to engage them, to design for them, the best way to guide them is first getting the strength spiritually. And Mother Mary guides you. Remember, she is our mother. As a mother, she guides you on how to take care of your children. As a mother, she guides you on how to pray for your children. As a mother, she guides you on how to talk to your children. As a mother, she guides you on who to engage for the benefit of your children. Why? Because it is not everybody who wishes you well. It is not everybody who wishes your children well. Haven't we heard stories where our own children, our own children, 
have been spoiled by our own relatives. A young mother the other day told me that, Father, I am so disappointed. My son has learned so many bad things from, from, listen to this, very sad, from my mother-in-law. The mother-in-law teaches your son some funny gymnastics, bad things. Let me tell you, not everybody who loves your children, not everybody is well-intentioned towards your children. Sometimes we may trust the wrong people. To get it right in this context, engage Mother Mary. He, she will guide you. Number nine is again for what we are preparing. The Holy Rosary is extra powerful when praying for a loved one. This one, I like to talk about married women praying for their husbands. Remember, this is the novena that is starting. Remember we called it claiming novena. 31 days novena for married women praying for their husbands. This is the novena that is starting next week. Next week, we are starting this novena. Married women praying for their husbands. Dear gracious married women, especially those of you who believe in the power of the Holy Rosary, for the 31 days that we will be praying for your husband, please make sure every day you have prayed the prayer of the Holy Rosary for 31 days. Remember we said, it is a privilege for a married woman to pray for her husband. And we said, you don't pray for your husband because he has a problem. You pray for your husband because it is a privilege for a married woman to pray for her husband. We have got 31 days journey. And I am going to journey with you for 31 days on daily basis that we pray for your husband. Now, again, if you believe in the power of the Holy Rosary, make sure that every day we pray together. And those of you who believe in the power of the Holy Rosary, I'll be engaging you on daily basis for that one day. In fact, I'll journey with you individually. Those of you who have prayed with me, I know you are in your thousands. Your needs are so different. Your intentions are so different. But God has given me the grace to journey with you individually. I have never said that I have uh, 2,000 married women praying with me. No. I know you by your names. By now, I know so many of you by names. I'll text you to ask you, how is your husband? Uh, did he go through the surgery? How is your husband? We prayed for this promotion this year. How is happening? How is your husband? He was traveling out of the country. Did he get the papers? How is your husband who left the country for Europe? Uh, is his papers uh, finalized? Uh-huh. That is how specific I am when it comes to prayers. My novenas are not just prayers. Novenas that we do because we are in a group. No. Mine is a personal engagement. Now, those of you who have been with for many years, you understand that when I tell you that I'll pray for you, I do it from the heart. And I pray for you as an individual. Finally, finally, the Holy Rosary gives us another mother. Do I need to explain that? No, I don't. Thank you. Thank you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Thursday.